welcome back to another educational bird video to teach you how to care better for your birds. So if you own a parrot, you're probably realizing that they're starting to destroy your house. And I mean kind of everything around your house. Birds are destructive creatures and like I've said in my previous videos, they are meant to be wild. They're not meant to be kept in captivity. So they need a lot of enrichment and they need a lot to chew and play and do. Because in the wild, they normally have lots of trees and lots of space. But in a house, usually it's the opposite. Now, my birds are free all the time. They have a tree like you guys maybe saw in the last video, which means they have a lot of enrichment. Yet that isn't enough. So therefore, my house also gets destroyed. But I have figured out ways for you guys to help prevent this. And so I'm going to be talking about the five ways to prevent your bird from destroying your home. You guys have a house style like ours, where you can see in the corner right here that have the wooden door frames. Then your bird might be clinging onto them and start chewing on them. And they're trying to bite off the wood because they just have this intensity and need to just choose something well the best solution to do this is by either covering it up with something that they're not interested with or you can actually further enrich it by something that they're allowed to do so what we personally did is that when i ordered something from amazon it came with these cardboard box things and i glued them on with a very strong hot glue gun onto the frames and now when they cling onto it, instead of biting the wooden frame, they bite the cardboard instead. And this has saved our wooden frames by a lot because they are very expensive to replace. And you definitely don't want any issues with anybody you live with by them destroying it and further lowering the value of whether it's a home or a condominium or a rental, whatever it is. You want to make sure that it is kept safe and there's no issues with it. The second one is tower. Towels. towels will save you by so much we have personally bought towels that are specific for our birds and we put them over a lot of things for to prevent a lot of poop from falling onto the floor for covering over the doors for pretty much a lot of things you can also use them if you have one of those stand mirrors to put a towel over it because your birds might want to stand on the mirror and when they poop that way the poop doesn't fall into the mirror but instead it goes onto the towel and whenever you need to look at yourself in the mirror or use the mirror you simply just remove the towel we also put the towels over the door so that when they stand on them and they poop then they're not pooping on the door but they're pooping on the towel it is much much easier to clean a towel than it is to try and clean poop off of a door though either way if you do have poop on a door or a doorknob i do have a video specific for removing poop off of any single surface which you guys can check out further my third one is that if you guys have a couch or any type of furniture that you don't want them to exactly poop on then the easiest solution is to grab either a blanket or a towel and again cover it up with that that way that when you're on the couch and you want to have them with you or as well with your bed you can keep just a specific blanket that's just for them or you can keep a towel there so that when they poop on it then it's a lot easier to clean than a whole like bed sheet that way you're not covering your whole single bed or couch or whatever it is with poop so it's going to be a lot easier to clean and it's going to keep your furniture as well safe and poop free that way you're not going to have any issues later because sometimes it can be a little hard to clean it off of certain surfaces or certain furnitures the fourth one is to get chair covers chair covers have saved our chairs from getting pooped and chewed on sometimes depending on the material that the chair is made out of they might want to chew on the chair the chair itself and you definitely don't want that we have specific chair covers that we cover our whole chair with and the birds just sit on them and if they poop on them we simply once a week remove the chair covers we wash them while they're sleeping we put them back on and that is how we've been keeping our chairs clean and safe from them from pooping and chewing on them you can either choose to make it brightly colored or just the same color as your kitchen whatever it is chair covers can come in many different colors and they're usually a thin fabric they're not that expensive either so i would definitely look into investing on it if you do have specific chairs that you don't want them to stand on because they might be a little more of an expensive dining table then 
feel free to try and train them to teach them that they are not allowed there. My parents personally have a dining table set that they don't want the birds to sit on because it is quite expensive. So I have simply taught them that you are not allowed to stand there and every single time that they try and land there, I reinforce the idea that they are not allowed to. So they know they're allowed to be in the kitchen table but not the dining table. So you guys are free to do that and of course these are completely optional choices on where you are allowed to keep your bird and you where you want them to be on and where you don't want them to be on this is absolutely your choice i'm just giving alternatives in case that you are like me and you want them to free roam which by the way if you guys are interested in letting your birds free roam around your room or around your house then i do have a video on that too teaching you how to keep them safe while letting them have that kind of freedom fifth one is just a simple distraction strategy so if they're going to go wanting to poop on something or if they want to go grab something that they're not allowed to, put a foreign object on there. Now, usually this kind of contradicts what I say because you want to desensitize them from being scared from multiple things, especially sounds and objects. But sometimes it's a little bit needed until they understand that they're not supposed to be there. So for example, if they're landing on the ceiling fan and they're scared of bright red cups, like those cups that you use for parties and whatever, then put them on the ceiling fan. Because either way, you're not supposed to be turning on the ceiling fan with your birds anywhere near them. So it's not going to be on and it's not going to be spinning because like we know that is a hazard and that way they're not going to want to go near it because they're going to be like whoa that's scary i don't know what it is now this just depends what your bird thinks is foreign and what your bird is used to but this can be also a good way to start just teaching them places that they're allowed to be on and places that they're not and as well help prevent them from chewing things for example we have a lamp above our kitchen where they love to stand on and we don't care if they're on it but what we do care about is when they start to climb it and try and bite the wires because they can electrocute themselves and as well knock down the lamp itself so sometimes when we see that they're starting to get a little bit disobedient and they're forgetting that they're not supposed to be chewing on them we put a foreign object there and then they don't stand on the lamp for a while and this helps them to just reinforce that idea that they're not supposed to be on there so no matter how much enrichment how many toys how much attention you give them birds are not easy to keep entertained and therefore you are gonna have to come up with a lot of ways to keep your home safe while owning a bird and it is not fair in any way for you to restrict your bird from being able to have that kind of freedom just because you don't want them to destroy your home because having a bird means me having a lot of changes in your home and having to sacrifice a lot of things that you might want so if you do plan on having a bird please take this video very seriously on the fact that you will have to be making these kinds of changes and your home might not look as pretty or aesthetic as you want it to be but you are gonna have a happy bird and please don't make them sacrifice or clip their wings about it because you don't want them getting to places and if you're confused about that statement please as well watch my video on why wing clipping can actually get your bird killed because it is a very serious topic that is a lot of outdated information and now it is a lot more updated on the psychological and physical detriments that wing clipping has with your bird and it does not help in any way so i hope this video helped you guys out and gave you some tips to keep your birds from you know just destroying a few things and keeping some of your furniture safe and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out our social media links down below make sure to check out our etsy shop we're always adding new things we just added our themed uh if you guys watch encanto which is like my favorite movie right now i actually came out with three encanto stickers which are part of my culture because i am Col so i did make three encanto and colombian culture themed stickers so make sure to check them out in our etsy shop and everything else that we sell so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you want to see more of us and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.